Hi all, I just want to show you why I installed this condensate neutralizer down here. It's over here in the sub pump, I'll show you. The drain goes into the sub pump and everything is corroded. It's because the condensate is very high in acid. So it corroded all my clamps there on the pump and there on the float too. So we'll see if that's going to help. Okay, before I install the neutralizer for the condensate in my furnace, I'm going to take a test of the pH. This is from my pool tester. So we just got to fill this up. Don't drop it. She's running pretty good. And then I'll test it after. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to test the water sample right now. It's a pool tester, so it only goes down to 6.8. We'll put four drops in, see what happens. It's very yellow, so that means it's very low in acid. It's very acidy. I don't have my cap. But that's yellow. Okay, we'll see what happens after I install it. Okay, just pulled it into Home Depot. This is where I got to get my fittings for the neutralizing condensate neutralizer. Just got to find a parking spot. Watch the bumps. I'm going to have to do is cut the pipe right here. I'm going to have to add a piece. I'm going to use some of this pipe to finish the install, so I'm going to try cutting it right here. In my opinion, I believe you need a condensate neutralizer because most of the new furnaces installed today are in the older houses. The condensate is very acidic and can damage your drain pipes if they're not made of plastic. Also, in some states, they have a bylaw requiring that you install a condensate neutralizer because it can damage water treatment plants as well as the piping going to the plants. What the condensate neutralizer does is reduce the pH to a neutral state and makes it more safe for plumbing. I thought there'd be more water than that. Oh, there it comes. Okay, now i got to find the location. I was worried about the height because they say you have to leave four inches underneath here. But I'm going to put a union in here and here. So I'm just going to remove it to change the media. So I'm going to set it down about that low. So I'm going to have to figure out where to cut the pipe. Got all my fittings here from Home Depot. Yeah, there you go. And this is a three-quarter to half adapter. Use Teflon tape on it. That's good enough. Yeah, I got two adapters. Take the cap out, install this one. I have to get my tools. Then I have to glue in. A three quarter to half bushing. Just tighten that up. Snug it up. Not too tight. Just till you feel a good resistance. There you go. And now I gotta glue it. Not too much. Just wipe it in here. Look at that. Now I can measure where I cut my pipe. Mark it right there. Then you have to clean all this off and this. You can use a step bit to clean the inside. Just a bit. 
I clean the outside with a knife or you can use a file. I got more gluing to do. Great. Don't make a mess again. I'll put it on here first. Need this little nipple. In here. Give it a turn. I gotta glue my union. Put that end down. Oh boy, that went right down. That did. I put my bushing on this other side. So I gotta add a small piece onto that. To put the elbow to tie into here. So we need another small piece. Okay, I'll cut it off of there and add it there. Now I'm gonna take the union off and glue it up there. I cut that to the right length, I hope. So we're gonna glue this. Good. Now I gotta size this one. I have to add, I'll put that on first. I could a good location to mount it. Can't really see back there, but that's an insulation pad. So there's nothing there that I'm gonna hit. Because I'm mounting it right on the outside. And then I gotta screw this on. So I'm gonna do that right now. to this pipe here just to get the tightness out of it. See that? Because it's, it's offset a bit. I can fix that later. I loosen this. Take that off. Take these out. So you have four screws on here and only two little dinky screws to hold this on. Doesn't make sense. Thank you. 
there. That's it. Just got to add a piece down there. Now I'm done. Okay, I'm all done now. Now I'm just going to try to heat this up to get this flex out of here because it's tight. I'll try it on high first. See the bend in it? There. It just gives it a little bend, a little offset, keep the stress off it. Just gotta hold it till it cools. There. There, that's a piece I finished over there. I just had gray pipe, I didn't have any white. Gray and white's the same. I just turned the furnace back on. You can see the water is getting in there. No leaks yet. All right, going to take a sample of the condensate to see if the pH has dropped. This is just a pool tester, so it still might show yellow. I don't think it's going to be any higher than six, and this is six eight, just a little yellow. We'll do three drops. Oh boy, pH is way up. It's because it was sitting in the canister. I don't know if that's good or bad. It doesn't seem neutral. I'm gonna reach down here and try to get another water test. We'll see how that goes. This is after a couple of weeks. One, two, three. Yeah, it's still very pink. So it's working. Good job. A little while. Later. Okay, I'm gonna try an experiment. Since my pH is, seems to be too high now, I'm gonna try removing some of this media, maybe half of it, and then let it run for a while. And see what it reads. So let's see how easy this thing is to come off. It's supposed to just turn off. Oh. That turned really easy. Let's see why. Oh yeah, that's why. Okay, I got the canister out. I'm gonna get rid of half the beads. Just gonna pour them into this bowl. And then I can save them for maybe when these ones wear out. Maybe half of them. I'll let them dry and then put them in a container. We'll see what that does. It's not even. There, yeah, it looks even. So we'll try that. Okay, let's try putting this back together. See what happens. Guess there's two dots there that you line up and that's where it actually stops. Let's just try screwing it in first. Okay. There we 
we go. We'll see if that works. Two weeks later. Okay, this is about two weeks after I've reduced the pellets in the canister. So we're just going to do another test and see what the pH level is. Another three drops. Two. Wow, those are big drops. And then that's still really pink. Maybe I can take some more pellets out. I don't know what is going on here. I got the cap this time. Holy, look at that. That's crazy. Is that good or bad?